despite Team Ninja not being an elite developer due to the fact that they produced some terrible things in the past, Neo turned out great. I think Sony should be happy with the success it received and it is safe to say that everything is going well according to the plan. This plan leads us here, to the release of PvP mod for Neo as a part of free update. So today we talk about Neo PvP Arena, the way it is set up and how it works. Despite me giving Team Ninja lots of praise for what they did good in PvE, they did fuck some things up in PvP and I'm gonna call them out on it. First one is the most obvious fuck up and you will notice it the moment you try to get into PvP. It's the problem with the way Q is designed. You can be either host or a client, which is fucking terrible. This is the exact same thing that I did bash Dark Souls 1 Arena for, which is just baffling. Why can't they make it like everyone else does? Just do it the way reasonable developers do. Merge it into one button and make the game decide who's host and who's client without all of this unnecessary guesswork. Right now the arena is more or less packed and it's almost full so you can get a match pretty damn quick. It doesn't really matter if you're hosting or looking for a house. However, give it a month or two, I can see the system being a big pain because you essentially have have to guess if you should be hosting or looking for a host. My next biggest problem with Neo PvP is the Japanese netcode. Maybe it was designed for people from Japan where they have perfect connection to each other but as of now, for an average user, it's really hard to get a lag-free duel in Neo. To make it fair, I'm not gonna judge the quality and quantity of netcode using my personal experience because it is well known that I have pretty terrible internet connection. Actually, no, fuck that. I will judge it because, well, think about it. I can play Dark Souls 1 and have some good jewels. I can play Dark Souls 2 and have a pretty good experience. And hell, I can surely play Dark Souls 3 and enjoy it. Well, as much as you can normally enjoy it. The point is, my terrible internet is enough to get some positive experience. Yet, Neo can be borderline unplayable. Around 60% of random encounters are super laggy. And no, it's not a question of quality. The problem lies in the netcode. In Neo, you get people teleporting all over the place. People being stuck an animation, people killing you before the round even starts. I can give you so many examples, it's just absurd. I really hope Team Ninja look into it and add some form of lag compensation to make it bearable. Now let's talk about good stuff, which is pretty much everything gameplay related, because the core concept of Neo is just the best. I know that some of you expect a dojo PvP and I really hope that given the appropriate feedback, Team Ninja can get it rolling. But as of now, all we have is proper arena with basically no limit. You get your fancy builds, setups, magic, OP weapons, ninjutsu and all that kind of shit. I really like it because it reminds me of vanilla Dark Souls PvP. Back in the day when everything was so broken, it was kind of fun to use it all. Despite all of that, they haven't gone full retard and they did adjust some things to make it more accessible for an average player. For example, they have the items you carry into the battle and some magic effects have been altered to make it more balanced in PvP. However, the rest of the gimmickry is still in the game and damn, you can have so many competitive builds that are actually fun to use. From the auto-aim abuse, leaving weapon spam, to people with A agility running in circles after throwing some magic shit at you to get a round win. Speaking of round wins, the format itself is really good. You can tell that unlike FromSoft, Team Ninja thought about everything. The arena can be experienced through either 1v1 or 2v2s. The dueling format is almost perfect. First of all, they did what FromSoft couldn't. They made all duels best of 3. This means that you need 2 wins to win a match. Once you kill your opponent, the round ends and your health gets reset for the start of the next round. However, the consumables you spend during the round are not restored, meaning that you have to plan ahead. This gives you some nice clutch potential, which can make things quite spicy and fun. Each round is limited by the clock. Once it runs out, the game automatically matches your effective HP with the effective HP of your opponent. Whoever is higher on the list gets the win. But wait, the awesomeness of the format doesn't stop there. Unlike FromSoft, Team Ninja had balls big enough to go against the casual crowd and implement a proper ladder with ranking system. It is no secret that some players hate the idea of competing for rank and high score because it brings out the cancer. But I don't really buy on it, and I think there's nothing better in competitive environment than a bunch of actual tryhards trying to outsmart each other with some gimmicky setups. And oh boy does Neo allow you to have some gimmicky setups. Anyway, overall I'd say it's a mixed bag. If your internet is good enough, you can have some great time, up until you meet someone whose internet is not good enough. I hope it gets sorted out, because the core concept of Neo is just so damn good. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.